What's good, y'all? Shout out to Notification Gang for hitting the like button. And the video didn't even start yet, y'all. Over this one, and I appreciate you anyway. Fellas, what what can what can we learn um, from Michael Irvin? First of all, if you haven't heard already, man, Michael Irvin, the man done won his lawsuit, right? Everybody that know, um, and if I remember, I put the eye at the top. Everybody that know about this story, uh, for those that don't know, of course, I, I, I'll give y'all a quick, a quick, quick little synopsis of what happened. So, uh, Michael Irvin, uh, I believe it was during the playoffs, was uh, heading back to his hotel in the Marriott. He heading back to his hotel, you know, after a long day of working, doing whatever he got to do. Uh, heads back to the hotel. And if I have the video, I'll, I'll make sure to attach it here. If I don't, then it is what it is. But uh, he, so in, in the video, in the hotel video, the hotel footage, right? Uh, he walks into the hotel. He's greeted by fans, of course. He's walking, doing whatever he got to do, taking pictures, doing a quick introduction. He's on his way. This woman, who for whatever reason was uh, name, uh, was was able to keep her name hidden up until recently, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, was able to hit, keep her name hidden until, up until recently, goes up and goes out of her way to approach Michael Irvin. Now, this is a woman who is working for the Marriott Hotel. You can clearly see this man is walking in the pathway heading towards the elevator. This woman is on the right side of the building, cuts through the bar, through through the uh through through the sitting lounge area to intercept Michael Irving. They have a quick 60 second conversation and then they say their goodbyes and then they leave, right? After all that was said and done, this woman goes and says, at first, before the video video footage came out, she says Michael Irvin groped her, allegedly. She said that he was, uh, you know, persistent. He seemed to be clearly drunk, uh, grabbing her, uh, trying to caress her body sexually, all these, all these crazy ass things. Now, when the video footage finally was released and it dropped, come to find out, clearly she was lying. Uh, when the video footage finally came out, you could see that none of that happened. She retracted her statement and basically said, oh, well, he didn't grope me, but he said some pretty explicitly sexually uh, um, harass me, harassing type of things to me verbally. That's what she switched it to. So now it went from a physical sexual uh, altercation to a verbal sexual altercation, right? Or harassment, right? Uh, thankfully, the witnesses that was literally not even five or ten feet away from them was able to hear the entire conversation. We were able to get the witnesses. We were able to get the footage. And now here we are uh, X amount of months later after the uh, – because this happened literally right before the football, uh, right before the Super Bowl, right? So this is February. So we're about damn near, you know, six months in, seven months in after the fact. After the fact. So, again, quick synopsis on, 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 on after all that nonsense that was going on. Michael Irvin, 57 years old, out of my hometown, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Born 1966, sports commentator as of now, or was a uh, sports commentator. He was uh, basically let go after the allegations had dropped, right? Um, you know, pro, pro football player, 12 years. He spent 12 years in the NFL as a wide receiver for the Dallas Cowboys. In 2007, he was inducted in the... Um, Pro Football Hall of Fame, so he is a Hall of Famer. Uh, officially returning back to the NFL Network after settling his $100 million lawsuit with the Marriott after his false misconduct allegations. Now, according to, uh, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this, I pulled this from Yahoo Sports, uh, former Dallas Cowboys star and Hall of Famer Michael Irvin settled his defamation lawsuit against Marriott and officially returned to the NFL Network on Sunday morning. Just in time to kick off the 2023 season, Irvin has filed a $100 million lawsuit against Marriott and six others. For defamation and tortious, I don't know what that word is, tortious uh, interference in a business relationship after a female employee accused him of lewd and inappropriate comments in a hotel lobby in Arizona in February. He was pulled for the NFL Network Super Bowl coverage in the wake of the incident and had not been on since then. Irvin and Maria have since settled that lawsuit. The Dallas Morning News reporter on Sunday morning, uh, terms of the settlement are not known. Repeat, terms of the settlement are not known. No, so nine times out of ten, y'all, they probably settle out of court, right? Y'all, y'all know how that goes. He, he, they probably settle out of court for a quick, for a cool 50, 60 mil. Um, Michael Irvin has been reinstated. So this is quotations from, uh, from Dallas Morning News. 
Michael Irvin has been reinstated and will be a part of the NFL Network coverage of the uh, as of the 2023 season. NFL Media Vice President of Communications Alex Rathmiller said in a statement, Irvin was accused of misconduct by an employee by of the Renaissance Phoenix Downtown Hotel ahead of the Super Bowl earlier this year. Specifics of allegations wasn't clear right away. Uh, in a legal motion, Marriott said that Irvin flagged down the hotel employee appeared to be physically intoxicated, etc., etc., Clearly, none of that was true. He never flagged her down. He never went to her. She was the one that intercepted and approached him. So, fellas, all in all, y'all know I, I, I got my notes. <laughs> y'all hear the, y'all 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 hear the paper. I got my notes. Y'all know I like to read and take my notes, man. But anyway, uh, fellas, what can we learn? Let me let, let me head on, man. It's, it's, it's about it's about twelve o'clock right now. I'm about, about to head out and grab some lunch. Y'all know, but I'm I'm hungry. Your boy been working since since about six thirty seven o'clock this morning. Um, what can we learn? Fellas, from 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 all from all of this, what 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 can we learn? We can learn that it doesn't matter what the truth is when the lie is more entertaining. Fellas, what we learned is that any woman can get you terminated, get you arrested. Your name is tarnished, tainted, damn near forever. If it if it does go to court, and what and, and is a rest record, what what whether you get expunged or whether it gets dropped or not, it doesn't matter. Your name is still tarnished forever. Michael Irvin's name is still tarnished forever because you know there's women out there. Oh well, Michael Irvin did it. He looks like the type. He looks like the type. Y'all remember how how, how they was when, when when this crap first dropped? And I covered it all, and I'm sitting there thinking. I'm sitting there saying. In the comment section, and to myself, of course, I'm sitting there saying, what, what what do you mean looks like the type? What does that mean? How does somebody look like the type to do something like that? This is how women view you, fellas. This is how women see you, fellas. What can we learn from this? Put in the comment section, what can we learn from this? We can learn that no matter how innocent you are, you will always be guilty. First, first of all, in, in, in the eyes of public opinion, number one. But any woman can get you roped up and that's it. This man went through hell just to get the hotel footage. We all sitting there like, hey, yo, what's the problem? If, if he did all this crap that y'all are alleging that he did, it should be nothing for you to put it all to shame and to confirm that he did this. Upload the video. This man had to do this, do that, just for them to release the video footage, y'all boys. This is crazy. This is how far they are willing to go to, to, to taint you, to break you down to tear your name up. No, we don't want to release the hotel footage. No, no, just just believe just believe all women, Dev. Just believe all women. No, screw that. We believe her. She said that he did it so clearly he did it. Fellas, this is the reason why I tell y'all boys all the time, make sure, make sure you are around somewhere that is constantly being recorded. If you do not, first of all, you should be having, you should have cameras somewhere in or in, if, if and or around your house. That is mandatory. When you're messing with whatever chick, when you're dating whatever chick, when you're having some type of sexual relations with the chick, make sure you have some type of written or video or audio recording somewhere somehow because any day she can wake up and say hey yo listen i don't think it was consensual no uh, uh no you're, now you're going to jail and now you're going to be sitting here like michael irvin trying to prove his goddamn innocence for the last six seven months begging a hotel the the the, the um the managers of the hotel to release the goddamn footage what took them so long it took them down there two three months before they released the footage Fellas, what can we learn from this? What can we learn from this? You are guilty until proven innocent. Fellas, you are guilty until proven innocent. No matter what, 
even when the the, the, the goddamn information and the uh, and the footage is there proving you're innocent, they're gonna sit there and do whatever they can do to withhold that goddamn evidence so you can be looking as guilty as possible. This should have came out immediately. It don't take that goddamn long. And, and and to be fair, I worked at you know, and, and I said this before. I used to work at a hotel. I used to work at Ritz Carlton Hotel years ago. Ritz Carlton, years ago, one of the top but best best hotels to damn to sleep in. Honestly, in my opinion. Years ago, it don't take nothing to pull up the security footage, to chop it up, to send it to whoever you got to send it to, or, you know, what is the email, through a OneDrive, or, or through a thumb drive, or whatever. They did that on purpose. Because they wanted to tarnish this man's name. And what happened as a result? That man was fired immediately. No goddamn evidence. NFL dropped him. This man couldn't even speak at the goddamn Super Bowl. Super Bowl is one of the biggest times in NFL history. And he should have been a part of that, but he got it taken away from him, stripped of him. Because of lies. Because of that damn woman. Fellas, what can we learn? The only thing I can hope and pray is that Michael Irvin continues... And he does not drop the lawsuit against that woman and the other six people, including the assistant and manager that refused to release the footage. I pray to God, Michael Irvin, you keep your foot on their goddamn necks and sue all of them. All six people. The Marriott settled out of court. Okay, cool. You got your check. You got your money. That's cool. But now I'm still taking it up. I want all six people to be named, publicly known, and I want to, and I want to sue the, all of their ass for defamation. For lewd activity, for lying. Sue all of them. Fellas, this is this is enough. And I'm speaking from personal experience. This is enough. I told y'all this happened to me when I was in college. But me being me, I say, yo, you know what? It is what it is. People that know the truth know the truth. I'm just gonna sweep it under the rug. No, uh <laughs> I almost cursed. F all that. F all that. From now on, fellas, you take their ass to court and you sue them. Next time they defame you, you sue them. This has got to stop. And it will not stop until you take these goddamn women to damn court and sue their ass and let their ass know that you are not the one to goddamn play with. I'm so proud of Michael Irvin. I'm happy he was able to get that check, whatever that amount is. I'm pretty sure it's going to be undisclosed. I'm so happy for him. I'm proud of him. And I hope that he continues to sue them and get whatever amount of money that he can get. Because what happened should not have happened. It was complete and utter nonsense and BS. But that just goes to show how much and how often this stuff has been happening to not only just our men, but our black men being accused and falsely accused of damn white women of sexual assault. And none of that crap happened. Only for her to eventually retract the statement to say, oh, okay, I'm sorry for lying. No, F your apology. We don't want it. We don't need it. Take their ass to court and sue their ass for whatever goddamn couple dollars they got in their damn savings account, Michael Irvin. You have my full support, sir. Maybe I'll think differently. So I want y'all to comment down below and let me know what y'all thought about that video, man. Thanks for watching. Please, 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 if you haven't, hit that subscribe button, man. Also, too, hit that bell, similar size, and anytime you upload, notification will pop up and alert you. Also, too, make sure you hit that like, make sure you hit that share. I look forward to reading all your comments, if any. So, until next time, please, man, y'all be safe for a color.